Well, today is International Migrants Day. It's marked by the UN to highlight the contributions migrants make and the problems that they face. It's taking place, of course, in the middle of a brutally cold winter here in Europe, but plunging temperatures have not put off migrants trying to cross into the EU. One increasingly popular point of entry is along the border between Serbia, which is not in the EU, and Hungary, which is. Around the Serbian village of Horogos, where there's a border crossing, a number of illegal migrant camps have emerged. Our reporter Idro Sefiri visited one of them recently. <laughs> Seifuddin Mirzada volunteers with a group helping migrants on their way west. He understands more than most what we are driving towards. He came here from Afghanistan and knows what it is to risk everything for a chance of something better. When you are on this road, you don't know what's going to happen in an hour. What will happen to you? You're walking in a jungle with smugglers, but you will never know if you will make it or not, or where you are going. Seifuddin was 14 when he tried to get to Germany. He only made it to Serbia. Now he helps those determined to get further. The volunteers go out a few times a week towards the border with Hungary, with the EU. There they find camps like this one, abandoned buildings a few kilometers from the border. Dawlat has made it all this way from Pakistan. It is hard to cross the border because of the Hungarian police. I have spent a month here and I've tried eight or nine times to get across, but we didn't make it yet. There are too many patrols. Now I'm waiting for a friend who broke his leg to get better and we will try again. He is one of the few to have some kind of solid shelter. His focus is on the long process by which he hopes to get protection for his family. I have four children in Pakistan and my plan is to make it to Germany as soon as possible. I hope I can get asylum and later I can take my children to Germany. You can find camps like this dotted around the border region. This one is largely Afghans, enduring medieval conditions for their dreams of the future. Activists and refugees eat together. The sense of solidarity as important as the supplies they bring. Well, more than a million Ukrainians have settled here in Germany since the start of the war. A new study shows many of them are integrating well and quickly. Our reporter Emily Gordin met with the young family who came here in March. A life and safety. That's what Dima and Christina wanted for their daughter Dana. They fled Ukraine within hours of the war starting back in February. Christina was pregnant at the time. They made a split-second decision. I was not ready to move to another country. It's really a surprise for me. So um, I, 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 I can't imagine that my uh, baby uh, will born in Ukraine, but I cannot imagine that my baby will born in another country. But the Russian invasion changed everything. Their home was in the firing line. While the couple had friends in Berlin, Germany was still a foreign land. They faced the hurdles of bureaucracy and had to get used to the peculiarities of German life. And I thought, OK, maybe bureaucracy is something like regular, maybe we have the same in Ukraine. But <laughs> it's a bit different because, like, you need to have like termins, and it takes lo long time to to yeah, achieve. Yeah, all this pa paperwork, uh, uh, post uh, mailing uh, through the post, it's uh, really uh, surprise us because in Ukraine we don't have all of this. Dima and Christina both found jobs quite quickly in Berlin. Dima is a designer and art director. Christina works in advertising, but she's also a musician. She even performed here in Germany while pregnant. Yeah, lots of good moments also, like, uh, as I said, like uh, giving birth here and medicine and like uh, Berlin is 
amazing city to just give a walk or like lots of parks and yeah <laughs> lots of children <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so it inspired us uh, every day yeah and lots of uh, working possibilities i found work quite easily like uh, lots of propositions and yeah we're quite happy with it not all of the one million refugees coming from ukraine have been this fortunate dima and christina have settled into their new life in berlin and while they're keen to return to Ukraine, they're determined to make the best of it until the war is over.